Hey everyone, so today is the day where I go to get my top braces on, right up top. And it's been quite a long journey, so I thought I would talk about it, because I have to leave in like an hour to go get them on. And it's been a very long journey and I've been waiting, I've been waiting quite a while actually. I've pretty much always kind of had crooked teeth. I pretty much knew I was probably gonna need braces ever since I was really young. So this is what my new teeth look like. These are like, you know, pushed inward. And these two are crooked, I look like a vampire. It is something that has kind of bothered my confidence a little bit. And, you know, I used to be a mouth smiler, you know, I used to smile like this. Now I only smile with, like that, my mouth closed. Okay, so where the braces talk really started to come in, I would say was probably around fifth grade, maybe. Um, so these teeth actually, the ones that look like vampire teeth, are actually baby teeth still, they just haven't come out, and the teeth above them, you know, need they need to come out and they need to like pull them down basically, or something like that. But basically the dentist office was waiting for them to fall out naturally. So it all started of, we they wanted me to wait a couple years and we would come back and if they weren't out yet, they would probably have to pull them out. So it's about, I don't know, I'm not sure how long it was until I went back and they were like, yeah, well, I think we need to pull them out. But it was a couple years later and they were talking about probably having to pull them out. But first they told me that I actually have to go to a, the orthodontist, you know, to like see actually what to do because this was just the dentist. So I go there and they tell me the same thing. I would, now this is like last year. So it all took a long time for this to all happen in the first place. First they wanted me to lose my baby teeth. That didn't happen. I'd make an orthodontist appointment that didn't happen right away. For some reason, it usually takes a long time to get an orthodontist appointment, at least where I live. But finally, when I got it, they told me that I would first have to get my wisdom teeth out because they were starting to come in and they, want, they didn't wanna to have to worry about them. So they wanted me to get them pulled out before they put on braces. Well, first that was in October or November. I think it was November when I had my orthodontist appointment. So I had my appointment, I think, like the 2nd of January. It was like two months away, it was kind of a while. But then it ended up getting canceled. I'm not sure why, but it did. And then they rescheduled it for, I think, either February or March, somewhere around there. And then I ended up having something that week that it was just the way the schedule worked. I had like a school thing that I had to do that day and I couldn't really miss it. So we were like, let's just reschedule it. But you know what happened in March? And yeah, so pretty much all the appointments and everything was canceled. And because it took so long to get, you know, another appointment, I actually had to go back in there to reschedule a wisdom teeth removal appointment. And they also took new pictures of my teeth because it had been like nine months since I had been there. So about two weeks ago, I went there to go get pictures retaken. And they told me that today, I, you know, like not today, but you know what I mean. What day is it? I think it's the, I think it's the 13th, I believe. But they told me that on the 13th, I would get my top braces on and then they would just take out my bottom wisdom teeth. And I was really confused, but it's happening. So it's really just been a long journey that's been a roller coaster. And we're finally kind of here, partially. I still have to, of course, my bottom teeth are really janky, but I'm really lucky to get this opportunity because there's a lot of times where people aren't so lucky and you know, they end up Maybe their family can't afford it or they don't have good insurance. Mine doesn't really have good insurance. My insurance doesn't have good brace coverage is what I mean. You know, whatever. I'm actually just happy that it's, I get the opportunity because like my brother didn't get braces and now he's in his twenties, you know, and he's having to figure that out. And a lot of people look down on people who are in their twenties that have braces, which is so shitty. Like people suck. 
because braces are expensive and there's just a lot of times when people can't afford it and that's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but you shouldn't be rude to these people just because they want to have nice teeth and you know their parents couldn't afford it so they have to pay for it themselves. Just be nice. I'm a little nervous though, especially to get my wisdom teeth out, which I don't know when that is. I really wanted to get it done this summer, but you know, a lot of offices were really closed unless emergencies. But yeah, I have to leave in like 10 minutes, so I hope it goes well. Okay. <laughs> okay. I look like a doofus. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna necessarily look good with braces because who does? But, and there's even worse news. There's a reason there's no wires on these yet. And that's because in a few weeks, not only do I have to get my wisdom teeth pulled, but I also have to get my canines, which are these ones, and the one above it on each side. I have to get eight teeth pulled on one day. And then after that, I have to go like in a week, a week later from that, or a week, two weeks, I'm not sure. And then I have to get my wires on. I don't know how I'm supposed to eat if the teeth in the back of my mouth are gone and the teeth in the front of my mouth are gone. What am I supposed to eat and how am I supposed to eat? How am I supposed to chew food? What can I even eat? Cause they told me I can't eat like anything with braces. Like I knew I couldn't eat certain things, but still. Not only that, but I have to have these on for three years. So I'm gonna look like this for three years. I'm gonna be a sophomore in like a few days when school starts. So, I'm gonna have my entire, the entire rest of my high school career is, I'm going to look like this. Also, they hurt, like it keeps rubbing up against my cheek, all right? You know, ew. I don't know how to feel right now. I'm very happy that I got them on. I'm kind of hoping maybe like during senior year, I might be able to get like Invisalign or something. Like they might be able to like do something else because I look like a doofus. Like I look so stupid. I think it doesn't help the fact that my teeth are still ratchet looking. So it just looks like I have dirty teeth. Like, not only that, but they don't even have colors. Like they didn't let me choose any colors yet. I'm, I'm not sure how braces work because I, this is my first time getting anything. So maybe they put on the color when you get the wires on, I think maybe. When you think it couldn't get worse, I have to get eight teeth pulled and then three years of braces. So that's my life. Um, I'm just gonna persevere because it's not the end of the world. I'm fortunate that I got this opportunity to get braces. Some people can't. So I'm happy. So I should stop complaining. And, you know, yes, I might look stupid now, but I'm sure when I have straight teeth, I'll look a lot better. Oh, God. Okay, well, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to continue on with my journey with me. And I have to start school in a few days, like next week. So I'm gonna go to school and everybody's gonna be like, oh, you got braces, I'm gonna be like, Kind of. But thanks for watching and...